Hi, Dorota Palicka International, new artist and educator here, and today we are going to do my nails. You can have a wee preview in here. Yes, that's exactly what I will show you. I feel step by step from the start to finish and how to recreate this look. And I hope you really enjoy watching this tutorial. If you're new in here, hit the subscribe button. If you're an existing subscriber, hit the notification bell to don't miss any future tutorials. Let's start. And that's the effect which we are going to do is on cat eye. It looks pretty nice and delicate. Uh, you can have a look like at different angles. It's pretty actually difficult to do it on your own because you need two magnets for it. Uh, I think it looks pretty interesting. So yeah, I'm going to play with it for a couple minutes so you can see the effect. Really nice and delicate and I show you how to do it I mean you have seen me doing the rebalance on my nails so many times and they really long my natural nails underneath now um, so I'm usually not the fan of doing a rebalance on so many times but uh, they have been done actually a week ago this is so bad so there might be some growth on it and I need to do my cuticle work so I'll show you my cuticle work and then how to recreate this look as well so for my cuticles, I'm going to use the e-file and I will push them back first. So I'm just going to push them back first. They're really bad, actually. So push the cuticles back. And then with the e-file machine, I'm just going to tidy them up. So I'm doing first one side There is lots actually And then I put my machine into the reverse and I will be doing the other side I quite like to file a little bit on my nail folds as well, just to kind of smooth them out. And when you're doing the cuticle work, it's good to have a wee brush so you can clean it and you can see it where you are. I've got lots this time. I must say I have been bad and I didn't apply the cuticle oil at all. This is why they are so bad. So when my machine is on the reverse, I tend to kind of uh, clean the fold as well like not excessively like you don't want to damage it or you don't want to overdo it so it's a really gentle work I'm doing when the nails are rebalanced like a couple of the times uh, they tend to lose a shape a little bit so this is probably the last time, okay, maybe one more time when I infill them and that's it. Um, then I will just cut them and replace with the fresh, fresh set. I can't actually wait for it because the fresh set I had it sculpted, it was like beginning of the summer probably. Okay, so just checking. So that's the messy part kind of done. I'm going to clean the cuticles so there is no dust. 
and then I always take a buffer and I kind of blend it even more around those cuticle area. Coffin shape is the most difficult shape to keep it nice and uh, sharp after you've got quite a lot of growth on your natural nails. Uh, so the next time it would be a really big struggle for me to, to make it a nice coffin shape out of those nails because my natural nails will be just far too, too long. And a thumb. So this way I can kind of really nicely blend the difference and tidy up even more the cuticle area. After this part I'm just going to check if there is any other bits and pieces which needs to be removed and I'm using the two millimeter cuticle nipper. I really like it because it's so small and so precise. So there is not much really to be removed. Not much and then she takes off like a big chunk. <laughs> really like these cuticle nippers because they are so precise like they so tiny and so precise but each of you probably have got your own favorite tool uh, some of you like the scissors some of you like a bigger nippers i quite like this one because it's so tiny and small that i can do really nice and precise work with it Try to kind of do it always in a one piece, like uh, so you get a neater, neater work. Especially on the bigger ones. And then this, you can also kind of tend to push it back as well, so it's easier to pick those places. Okay, clean that, and then we can just clean the rest of the nail. So I'm using a tiny bit of the nail dehydrator to kind of remove any bits and pieces which are there. And now we can do those cut eye look. So that's my nails prepped now. And for the cut eye, you need some magnets, and I've got two in here. So for for this design, like, I mean, we could go like this and create a design as well, but I want to kind of do it more of this look. And it's pretty extremely difficult to do it on your own because you need two magnets and obviously you've got only one hand to do this. Uh, so I'm searching on the side which attracts each other and that will be the side which attracts each other. Then I will put this magnet on the sides. And I will be kind of going and holding one magnet there and the other magnet there to create my design. So the cat eye I'm going to use is from the Born Pretty. It's a really delicate look. You could of course do it on the top of the darker color or on the, let me clean my hands, on the top of the darker color. Uh, but I wanted to use it on the nude uh, base just so we could kind of get it more delicate look uh, with it. So I'm just applying a one layer first. For a cut eye, you have to do one nail by one nail. So when you're working on a client, the situation is pretty easy. You just kind of tend to swap the hands. Uh, working on yourself is kind of pretty time consuming because you can only do one nail at the time. So I have covered the entire nail with the cut eye effect. And then my magnet is just here on the side. I'm taking the other magnet. So my finger goes like this. And then with the magnet, I'm going to do the design so first of all you can see how it is kind of changing 
and then I'm start pushing this part which is on the top can you see that going on the other side ah that was too close so I'm checking again which side is attracting and I'm not going to do too close we need this magnet of the side so we don't over push it uh, the product and those we magnets bits and pieces You can see it starting showing off. When you've got two hands, you can kind of feel it how close you can get to the other magnet uh, compared to do it on the one side. So now I need to push the things which are the metal things which are on the end. So I'm just getting magnet closer, twist it. And look, they are moving. Okay, do it the same on the side. Ideally, you want magnets on both sides because then one side, you kind of tend to push it everything to the middle. So one side is one side of the magnet is pushing one side and the other side of the magnet is pushing the other side i hope you know what i mean and then from the top so i almost got too close because i could see the magnet moving a little bit okay and then i've got quite nice and pretty effect i'm still not happy with the tip so I need to push it a little bit. Ideally, I want to go close to the other magnet for a better results. Very difficult to do it on your own news. Okay, and now I'm finally happy with the look of it. So I'm just going to cook it and then give it a cure and we can move on into the next layer. So I'll be just doing a manual from the start to finish. Um, but yeah, pretty difficult one on doing on your own needles just because we, we're not able to hold two magnets, but it looks quite nice. So on the client, you will be much quicker and much more precise. So I'm applying a second layer. So second layer on. Okay, and now we want to kind of get those crystal jammy look first. So get those metal bits and pieces moved. Okay, and then I'm going to push it to the middle one side other side you can see it it's already start looking nice now this is always the part that, which is the most difficult because the magnet should be here actually the second one to stop them moving too much yeah i check the look not too bad, I think I'm going to leave it. Because ideally you want to do it from the four sides. And then next side. And one more time from the top. And that's me happy with this new so you can see it the effect cook it in the lamp and then we move on into the next one i think i should decorate them with some gems just at the cuticle area so it is kind of more me style um, but i thought i will show you 
how to recreate this look as well because it's actually pretty easy once you know how to hold the magnets i might show you also as well like um, how to do a normal cut eye design as well with the one magnet because uh, that will give us completely different results so actually i just demonstrate on this new uh, or on the farm actually and then i can wipe it off because i'm not going to have it on my nails i'm not going to paint it perfectly because i'm going to wipe it anyway just to show you so if we take a magnet like it was going to give us a nice line so i'm just applying the magnet on top of it and you can see we've got the line okay so i don't want those kind of um, results i mean they're quite nice as well uh, but i much prefer this look it looks almost like a weed gem or something um it's more complicated because you need two magnets but definitely much nicer look okay so again we've got this magnet on the side i, I should actually have a third hand <laughs> that would be much easier and then get those kind of shiny well there we are get this kind of shiny look through it you can see it how it's changing so i've got a nice shiny look to it and that's mean i can get closer with my magnet now because uh, patrick is holding it for me and it's not going to move as much okay another side on the bottom okay and then i want to get the part on the top much more rounded you can see how it is moving okay and i'm happy with this one as well cook it inside the lamp i also got uh, those kind of magnet as well um you can get quite a nice design shape with it as well uh, they are some magnets which are in a flower shape as well or they are magnets which are two lines waves so um you can just search different types of magnets uh, I quite just like this one which has a normal line in it because uh, I do love this effect actually uh, the most on the needles is the most interesting one but as I say very difficult to do it on your own so second layer on I'm actually not sure if I like it better with the one layer or two layers guys and this uh, this cut eye effect with the silver kind of thing is much uh, much uh, lighter much more gentle one compared to most of the cut eyes that's uh, so much quicker because i can get closer So you're kind of really moving it into the place you you want and you like the most then cook it so i want kind of like have like a wee branded bit around the cuticle area then an empty space and then i wanted it to be kind of uh, pigmented at the free edge so it looks nicer so a couple seconds cure because once the product is cured you are not able to move those wee metal bits and pieces and the next one also thank you so much guys for all your shares likes comments because <laughs> uh, the channel is slowly slowly growing uh, i mean obviously the videos which are recorded 
with Patrick are much uh, nicer because he can zoom in and he can keep everything in focus. And I'm trying my best when doing the uh, recording in a salon. It's quite a difficult one because then the camera is just right on front of my nose. Um, but I think it's like a different style of videos which are much more useful because uh, you can see different type of situations going on and still need to push this one a little bit more you can see how it's changing uh, no, still too much on this corner. Almost, almost. And too much on this corner now. Oh, come on, just a little bit. Okay, that's it. I'm happy with this one now. <laughs> Kick it inside the lamp. Uh, yeah, and I think I will be recording more, like, as long as we able still to work, like, I hope it is not going to change, I will be keep recording lots of more from the salon, because uh, they're very useful. I also give you a wee link to the, um, to this cut eye gel polishes. They've got a few different shades and colors as well, uh, which is quite nice. I'm not sure if I like more one layer or two layers. I don't know, guys. I think on the one layer you can see more intense results but i wish it wouldn't be as uh, gray color it could be more pinky side i think that's what look absolutely fantastic so yeah let's do a second layer And see them moving so nice. Okay, that's me happy with this one too. It's so much me easier when Patrick holds the magnet because I'm not scared to kind of go too close and then it jumps. And the next one is flash cured. I'm not sure how long I will stay actually with this set. Uh, with this set, I think I really need to bling it up with some Swarovski crystals. Thanks. <laughs> You need to go a bit at the free edge. So you can really see where you're kind of moving all those little bits and pieces of the metal. Almost happy with this one, almost. I quite also like to check it, uh, how it is moving before I cure it. Because uh, then this way, you know, if you're 100% happy with the design. So a couple seconds cure and then we are going to move on into our last news. Which is my thumb. No, I definitely going to bling them up. <laughs> Maybe not. Oh gosh. You don't want to kind of cover the design because it's, um, 
it's not going to be as much visible when it's moving. Thanks. Okay, <laughs> I can cook it again. Because <laughs> um, I was thinking I could put a tiny bit uh, crystals around the cuticle area, but this is actually a place which is kind of uh, really dark, so you can see the line moving, so I might maybe skip it and don't do it. And the next time I'm going to do my nails, I think I'm, I will just either make them much shorter, gosh, you can see the growth on this nail. Um, I will either make them a little bit shorter so I can still maintain the shape because they, they're really old now. Um, or I'm going to just sculpt the fresh set again, depending really how much time I'm going to find. It's pretty difficult and I like working in a salon, doing tutorials in a house and so quite a lot of going on at the moment. Oh, this thumb is even more difficult. But that's me happy with it. I'm just not going to. Okay, maybe one more. So fast, yeah, about the single bits and pieces. Cook it. <laughs> so just a couple seconds again. And then I can start putting the top coat over them. And basically that's the finished look. I hope you have learned something in this tutorial. In this tutorial. And uh, even been kind of pretty simple, uh, you liked the fact I have showed you like how I clean my cuticles and how to do this design on the nails. That looks quite nice even like this. Okay. okay, so the most important part of this design is you need two magnets <laughs> and uh, you better off do it on the clients rather than on your own nails because uh, it is kind of much more tricky. Uh, once this is cured, I'm just going to top coat it. And then that's our nails finish. I actually need to go it and uh, try it uh, if there is any kind of more pinky uh, rather than gray color underneath because uh, I think that will look super cool too. So I'm just applying the top coat. They almost look like a gemstones. I actually need to maybe think of some different type of designs with, uh, with this look. Yeah, that's so cool actually. So just a quick summary again, you need two magnets, the sides we need to attract each other and if they attract each other like and you get uh, your nail close to it, those shiny bits and pieces should show up and then you can start moving um, those bits and pieces uh, into the desired shape like um, from each side of the nail. If it is happening that uh, you kind of damage the design, I might actually show you that as well. And everything goes like kind of disappear look. Uh, you will need to bring those shiny bits and pieces back again. And it's a matter of kind of practicing a couple of times. Like with any kind of design, like even if it looks so super simple and easy, um, you need to kind of uh, try it a few times, do a couple mistakes and then learn from these mistakes like we, we're not all perfect, like we all kind of need to. That is actually super cool. Yeah, cook it. Okay, and then once they cure we can apply the cuticle oil and I really need to apply um, those cuticle oil more often this time just so my cuticles are a little bit better. Uh, yeah, and that's the finished look. So I hope you have really enjoyed watching this tutorial. 
If you did, let me know down in the comments below and I will see you next time. Glittery hugs and bye for now.